Dr. Jerry Punch joining us this week here on Let's Go Racing with David Starr. So, Dr. Punch, you've had a few different times where your broadcasting career and your medical career cross paths. Tell us about uh, some of those experiences and, and some of the things that, that have gone down. I mean, people hear about whether it was the <coughs> Wallace or right. Ernie Irving situations. Kind of walk us through some of those things that, that happened where those two roads well, met. Yeah, I think I think the uh, the one that people remember the most is the <clears throat> that because it uh, was the uh, Rusty Wallace one at Bristol, and it was uh, the day before the Cup race. It was the afternoon of the uh, the Bush race back then, the Xfinity race, and very few of the Cup guys wanted to practice in the heat of the afternoon because it was a night race. It was in the August night race, and so but there were two cars on the track: Rusty Wallace and Dale Earnhardt. And uh, I'm standing on pit road, the middle of pit road, getting ready to interview a driver, uh, tape an interview for a driver for that night. Uh, who had qualified on the front row of, uh, of for the Bush race. It was Rick Mast. And so about that time, I heard a crunch, and then it got quiet. And at Bristol, if it gets quiet, that normally means something's wrong. I looked up, and I saw Rusty Wallace's Pontiac spiraling up like a punt, like someone had just punted it in like a football. With a nose first, it goes up in the air, and it comes down and hits. Well, what happened was Rusty Rusty's tire had flexed against the ball joint, sliced the tire open, a car went up, caught the end. Back then there were no grandstands all the way around. It caught the end of the grandstand, which launched it in the air, and it went maybe four stories high, and then came down and rolled and rolled and rolled and came to rest with the front of the car up on the pit wall and maybe 15 feet from where I was, smoke everywhere, steam, debris. And <clears throat> I could see the roof was caved in and Rusty was slumped over. I ran over there. And uh, he wasn't breathing. I couldn't get to him because the roof is caved in and the window net was bent. I could just get my fingers in. He had an open face helmet back then, thankfully. And I could see he had blood out of both sides of his mouth and wasn't breathing. So I was able to get fingers in and just enough to pull his jaw forward to get an airway. And, uh, and their Earnhardt stopped his car and he comes running over there and he sees what's going on. He said, what do I got to do? What do I, do? I said, you got to get this roof off, Dale. And Dick Beatty, the NASCAR director of officials, comes out. And he's holding a Winston Cup hat over my face while I'm trying to hold Rusty's jaw through that, through that uh, crumpled roof enough. Uh, and they're trying to keep my face from getting burned while they're sawing an opening for me to get to him. Uh, and we get to Rusty, get him out, put him in ambulance, suction him out. Uh, he's, he's able to breathe on his own and he goes to the hospital and, um, we got lucky. I tell everybody we got lucky that night. And, and, I, and a couple hours later, Rusty called from the, I couldn't leave, leave the track. So, cause I was getting ready to do the Xfinity race in, in the pits as a pit reporter and Rusty called back to the track from the hospital and they passed him through the TV truck. He said, tell doc, number one, thank you. Uh, I'm going to be okay. He said, but tell Doc, he looks terrible. Because I had all this soot all over my face. <laughs> and like the paint Where they had cut, cut Rusty's roof off and my hair was full of flecks of paint. I looked like I'd been, I'd put my face into a campfire or something. But, uh, and uh, anyway, as right before the bush race started, Dale Earnhardt <clears throat> walked down pit road and walked right up to me. He walked up and, and he said, you realize, Doc, that you probably saved Rusty Wallace's life today. So you realize that? And I didn't say anything. He says, why would you do something like that? Why would anybody? Do that? <laughs> and so, and I laugh. I said, "Yeah, why would anybody say Rusty?" And he said, "He said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we." I said, "Dale, we got lucky. We got real lucky that day." 